Nice to see you again, Richard. 大家好，我是职位大叔林一峰。今天非常兴奋的来 interview 我心目中苏格兰的威士忌大师怀特马凯公司的首席 Master Brander 首席调酒师，他也是大摩的调酒师。我们常常听说的神之鼻，还有那个电影里面说的一滴都不能少的酒。通通是我们 Richard 先生所调配出来的。我们今天就要好好的来跟 Richard 先生聊聊大摩这家酒厂以及大摩的单一曼威士忌为什么那么迷人。Richard, we like to hear the Dalmor's history story. First of all, Dalmor Distillery was established in 1839, and when Andrew Mackenzie arrived in 1867 with his brother Charles, they went into full production in January 1868. They wanted to remember their history. So what they did is they used the stag, and that relates to a painting called "The Fury of the Stag," painted by a great American artist, Benjamin West. I ever saw that in Ed Edinburgh, right? Correct.、Oh. If you go into the National Portrait Museum in Edinburgh,、yes. you'll see you walk into the、uh, museum. Such a big one. Such a big one because、yes. you'll see the Titians, the Rayburns, and then when you come into the main hall, you'll see this huge painting. It's one of the largest paintings in Europe. 12 feet by 17 feet long. It shows you King Alexander the Third of Scotland lying on the ground, because in 1263 he had got rid of the Scandinavians. He was out celebrating hunting when a royal stag was encountered, and it was just about to rip him apart when Colin Fitzgerald, chieftain of the clan Mackenzie, steps forward, kills the stag, saves the king. The king wants to reward、uh, the Mackenzie family, so he says, right from now on. Because you've killed the stag, you can use the royal stag as the emblem of the Mackenzie. So any Mackenzie you meet around the world, they will use this particular、oh. logo. So when Andrew Mackenzie arrives, he says, "I want to use this logo on every bottle of Dalmore." And over the years, we've developed that, and it's even bigger now. So this kind of honor, it is an honor. It's a respectability. But it's also a piece of great history. I know you designed some very special and very complex whiskey. Talk about this history, right? This is、uh, the Dalmore King Alexander. Yes. Of all the whiskies that I produced, many different styles. This is the one I really love. Okay. Because it reminds me of what blending is all about. Because it's the only single malt with six different finishes. So many different kind of flavor combined together. Correct.、Uh, So hard to do. Yeah, but that's you've just hit it right in the nail. You said so many different flavors coming together: port, Madeira, Marsala, Cabernet Sauvignon, small batch bourbon, and Methuselah sherry.、Wow. Six separate assemblages, and they are very old whiskies, old whiskies.、Yes. And I'm saying they're up to 21 years old because, in fact, we have the port, which will take about five years. We've also got the sherry, which has to stimulate for at least two and a half, three years. Cabernet Sauvignon, one and a half years. So you've got all these flavors. They're not all equal. They're different because we want to accentuate certain notes, certain flavors. But we bring them all together, and it's like opening a box of chocolates. All different centers,、oh、and it comes <laughs> into the palate. So when you、wow. look at it, I'm going to give it. This is this is what we call. The Copa Capita glass. Okay. Very important. Don't hold it like this. Okay. Don't warm it like this. <laughs> First of all, you put it in the glass. So we just put a little in just now. Make sure the glass is clean. Just keep it there. Keep it there, and then <laughs> throw it away. <laughs> so, so, so we put it there. You can see the lip of the glass、uh, holding the spirit. So by flicking it away <laughs> like that, we. Ensure that it's nice and clean. Okay, so there's the first one. I just hold it there, and I'll just pour myself one. You don't worry about your West, your wonderful Asselin whiskey. <laughs> no, you know, it just keeps it keeps the floor clean. So what we want to do is to really see that different style、uh, emerging. When you swirl it around and smell it, you'll see all these different flavors, all these nuances, aromas. They're、yeah. all coming. You can smell the sort of, you know. Sun-kissed raisins, sultanas. You've got the figs. You've, you've got the hint of、um, the plummy notes there. But more importantly, you've still got the DNA of Dalmore, the chocolate orange. Yeah, chocolate. I feel very much there. And making sure when you look at it, really looking at it, you'll see all these aromas 
are actually arising. This is the very beginning, but it's so important. You know, what I've been doing my time in Taiwan this week is really people telling people to hold it long in the mouth. Don't be knocking it back. Mm. I want you to really sip, savor, top of the tongue, underneath the tongue, back in the middle. They are afraid a uh, high echo is too hard in the mouth, but that's not right. You have to keep it in your mouth for Correct. a long time. Yeah, because the tongue will help to release the warmth of the, of the, of the tongue onto the whiskey. It'll open it up. Then you put it underneath the tongue, just let it settle down and then put back at the top. First taste is important, but it's really the second taste to make sure you get everything there. Okay. So what we've always done with Dalmore is we've always relied on making sure that the DNA of Dalmore, the chocolate orange, always comes through. So, so important. So we try twice. Yes, okay. <laughs> so we do it together. I love that. Okay. It's okay. so a big slime jiva. Here we slime go. Jiva. Ready to go down, wait for it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Hello there. So yes. now you can see the flavors coming up. The chocolate orange, little bit of the sun-kissed raisins, the sultanas, little bit of balsamic there. Mmm, the plummy notes there coming in now. So here we go again for the second time. Mmm. And then that's it. You're right into it now. So you're seeing that the fullness you're getting more flavors coming through because you might have eaten something spiced to begin with or something else, yes. tea, coffee. But going back to the second time, you really are investigating and looking and assessing the whiskey properly. The second time, I can test the different flavor than first time. Yes, yeah. And the sweeter and sweeter. Yeah. And uh, chocolate be kind to the coffee. Wow, this is amazing good. You, you put it right in the nail because what you've done is you've really looked at it but if you're knocking it back, yeah. you've missed it all. I mean, you pay a lot of money for these whiskeys. Why yes. not look at them and really getting the money's worth of really nosing and tasting it the proper way? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, next question I want to ask Richard. Delmo have the very special... Uh, distillation. Yeah, distillation is so different layer. There's still different shape. I want to know some detail about that. Right. Remember when Andrew McKenzie arrives 1867 and really gets under production 27th of January 1868, he wants to see his distillate he's settling it down, but he looks at the stills, they're big giant pot stills. They're not small, they're not tall, but they're big complex bulbous stills. His success continues and that's why in 1874 he decides to double the production. But when you come to the distillery, you will still see that still today. But more importantly, just as what you've said, we've got a water jacket inside coming down the water inside, gives us greater reflux. You get heavier notes coming through, you get complexity, and that's what I'm looking for. I don't want something that's light, I want something that's fairly muscular. But when you look at the new spirit, yeah. you've already got hints of lemongrass, very important. So lemon drops from the, the water jacket yeah. inference. Yeah, just that giving it that stimulation, but it's got body, it's got structure, it's got plenty of muscle. Mm. Because if it was too light, uh, it would not quite suit what we're looking for. What we're looking for, as Andrew McKenzie started off, was a little whiskey with body. Mm. And therefore, when we look at the selection of sherries, mm -hmm. wines, they need to be heavy. Yes. If they're too light, they don't make any contribution. Mm. So the distillation is so important. But remember, please, when it goes into the cask, into the warehouse, that cask is going to give you at least 80%, up to 80% influence. So the selection process is so important. Good new spillet and the cask find a very good balance. Yeah, and then putting it into the traditional warehouse three high or even on the floor. The maritime climate comes in, you've got the protection of the mighty Ben Wivers in the background. So that sort of mother nature will let take its course, damp warehouses which we're looking for, and let it go to sleep. 
let it go to sleep for many, many years before you call on these whiskeys. If we test this 15 years, yeah, yeah. how to figure out what press is making what kind of flavor can you right. show us? Right, this, this, is, this is a good example yes. of something that's 15 years old. Okay. It's not uh, 12 years old or 10 years old, yeah. it's 15. All the whiskies in this bottle are not less than age specified. Yeah, just make sure the glass is clean. There we go again. So there, there's your glass. Yes. And th this is again another baby. That's what I call it. We're going to the house of uh, Gonzalez Bias in Spain in Areta la Frontera. And Gonzalez Bias established a way back in Spain in uh, 1835. They gave us exclusive rights uh, to their particular sherries. So important because if you want to maintain consistency, you must have a source that will supply it on a regular basis. So we've been supplying uh, these wonderful sherry butts for over 100 years, over 100 years. And how do we know? Because we've got the documentation to show us. And what kind of cask is it? Yes, it's Oloroso, but it's a particular style of Oloroso. We're talking about Matuslam, which is 30 years old. So I have to, I have the question about the uh, Matusan cask. Matusan cask is kind of for the Solera system. Solera system, but it's a very Not just old... like the other Scotch whiskey in distillery, they just uh, put the uh, sherry in a uh, new cask for no. a few years. No, no. it's this a long is, year. This is Matuslam, which has to be at least minimum 30 years 30 old. 30 years old. How do I know that? because it has to be certified by the Consuegla Regulador in Spain. So we know it's 30 years old. But when you look at it, what is it? It's 75% Palomino Fino, 25% Pedro Jimenez. Yeah. And it has been through the Solera up to 45 years uh, are some of the older uh, sherries that are in it. So we get that body and this body suits the Dalmore. So when we buy the sherry butts, 600 liters. And when it comes from Spain, to Scotland, we leave five liters of the Matusum in that cask. Yeah. By the time it gets to Scotland, there's only three liters left. We leave 10% of that wine is uh, in the pores of the wood. Yeah. So when we put the 15 you're gonna see just now, we take that 12 year old Dalmore and we put it into the sherry cask, into the Matusum, into the Apostolis yeah. and into the Amoroso. And we leave it for at least a minimum of two years, two months sometimes a bit longer, depending on the influence. So when we go back to we're looking for the weight, we're looking for the body, we're looking for that sun-kissed raisins again, sultanas, but we still want that chocolate orange to emerge. So when you look at this here and knows it, hello, how are you? Lovely. Fine, thank you. <laughs> so, so, so this, that's right, you're getting into swing, I think, well done. You're getting into it and you're seeing that sort of softness yeah. of the, the marzipan, the sort of crushed almonds, but you're also going to see that, you know, the raisins there, the fig notes are there. But because of the Amoroso, which is 15 years old, like a Merlot grape in a Bordeaux wine, it's going to give you that soft. The truth is this kind of flavor, totally different like other sherry cast flavor, yeah, yeah. a little bit age flavor yeah but it's just got that little bit that velvet charming note so when you taste it when you yeah. taste it let it go down you're going to see it much softer easier yes yes Spicy to begin with, and then it subsides. Not so many alcohol influences <coughs> in the mouth. Exactly. It just has a, that velvet charm that we're actually looking for. I still remember you described this kind of whiskey, Christmas cake. Christmas cake. Yeah, very uh, sweet and warm. Yeah. yeah, but also for this time, for the 15, you're just going to get a hint more of the tangerines. Tangerine, The, the yeah. flesh of tangerines. The marmalade, mm. again, you've got to be careful when we talk about marmalade, people say <laughs> in America you mean jellies. No, I mean marmalade. Yeah. You know, it's got that bitter orange coming through yeah. and the sweetness from that. Yes, beautiful. It's beautiful. It's nice. Follow your step to drinking this totally different like I drink myself. <laughs> Since we last met, we've yeah. introduced many different expressions, but one of these, of course, is the Dalmore 18 years old. But what we want you to do on this occasion 
is to accentuate these very antique flavors. And what I mean by the antique flavors, it's like licorice balsamic that only comes through age. And I'm, what I'm talking about age, I'm talking about age in the Oloroso Matuzum Sherry cask. So you're gonna see that with the art 18 years old. Okay. On this occasion, we only need a very small amount because uh, it's becoming rarer, okay? So we don't want to throw that away too much. This is a 2024 Four, new, yeah, edition. Edition, new edition. Mm. Oh, the smell right. so clean, you know, not so many sulfury flavor, yeah. very clean. Yeah, the, the, the sort of licorice notes, soft yes. licorice, the balsamic, the molasses, but you've got that lovely figgy note coming from these long ages in uh, the Methuselah sherry. Even I can feel that old whiskey flavor in my nose. Yeah. Yeah, very old whiskey yeah. flavor. And you've also got that hint of uh, bitter chocolate, and you've got coffee note as well, but yes. still all coming around to these antique flavors that only age can bridge, mm. particularly in the Methuselah. Yeah. So what I want you to do is to imagine, but after dinner, what do you do? You have a creme brulee to start yes. with, then you serve a coffee, you don't need sugar, you don't need cream or milk. Scottish shortbread. <laughs> That's right. And then you take the whiskey, yeah. hold it along the mouth and let it go down and then introduce a bit of chocolate and let that melt. That will all come together and you'll create not just a party, a banquet. So really look at this. Hold this a bit longer, okay? okay? A bit longer than that. And let it go down. Really oh my god. rich. Yeah. Oh my god, it's silky. Yeah, silky smooth. Wow. Yeah, and you can just taste that balsamic, that, that antique licorice nose. This eating amazing for me. I love whiskey in there, have a passion fruit flavor, a lot of yeah. passion fruit flavor yeah. in my mouth. Yeah. Oh my god, I love this yeah, one. Yeah, this, this, this I is. I love this one. 这次我非常喜欢,非常喜欢十八年这支新版的2024年版 Richard, last time you come to Taiwan I'm so lucky I tried the 62 years old Dalmo You are an extremely lucky man, <laughs> I can tell you So this time, I want to make a wish Can I make a wish? We'll try to arrange something, <laughs> no problem You have to be patient Ladies and gentlemen Okay, Stephen, we've yes. got something special for you. This is my surprise. It's your surprise. I brought it all the way from Scotland, okay? <laughs> so you mustn't waste it. Okay, I'm gonna give you the Copa Capita glass. Let me just check, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's it. Hold it's the bottom. Empathy. Very good, mm. it's very good. Okay, so I've got a little sample here. It's not very much because oh, it's yes. actually, it's very old, okay? Oh my God. Right, there you are. Okay, oh so just, just don't do anything yet. Okay. Okay, now what I want you to do is just swirl around, that's okay. it. Because already the aromas are getting up and they're disappearing into the room, okay? That's, that's just be gentle with it, all right, okay. All right, bring it up and then just give it a smell. Hold it there, just, just take your time, okay? Take your time. Mm. You're just about to go into heaven, so just keep it there. All right, so already what you're seeing is the DNA of Dalmore, the chocolate orange, but you're going to see, as I mentioned, some of the antique flavors because this is a very old whiskey. All right, so what I want you to do this time, that's it, just relax. I want you to take a big mouthful mm. and hold it long in the mouth. Okay, so just keep it there, keep it there. It's a good mouthful, that's it. Maybe not as much as I thought, but never mind. Here we go. All right, so top of the tongue. That's it, top of the tongue. That's it, just completely relaxed. Top of the tongue, underneath the tongue, underneath the tongue, a little bit of spritzig there, down there, that's it. Keep it there, good man. Right, well done, Stephen. And then up to the top, up to the top. Keep it there, keep it there. And then what I want you to do is to swallow and take a big deep breath. That's it, wait for it. And open your mouth a wee bit. That's it, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I gave you a fright. Wow, I don't know why.
Good <laughs> whiskey. I'm a good surprise. No, it wants to be stupid because I saw your chest. As soon, as soon as so I, I cannot hear you. <laughs> as soon as it went down, what did you do? Your chest went up. Yes. It went up and you're able to take more of the flavors in. Now, when you smell it again, okay, you can see even more. Because this whiskey's not 10 years old, 20. It's not even 25, it's not 30. It's actually 40 years old. Oh my God, because 40, 40 years, old. years old. This is matured in Methuselah sherry, and it really showing the flavors. Now, look at the mouth now. Even when you're tasting it now, you can see all the stimulation is coming because you really held it warm in the mouth. You've taken it into your chest and you're really seeing it. This is uh, my best whiskey <laughs> experience in my life. I love you, Richard. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs>